when I perform this dance form, I has to perform as a woman. For me, preserving tradition is important because the tradition is identity of the country. Cross-gender dancing is when the roles of both the female and male are played by one man. Using costumes, masks and movement, the dancers are able to easily transition between the two gendered characters they are playing. My name is Didi Ninitawa. I am a cross-gender dancer from Indonesia. In the past, males would play female roles in performances and plays, and although women are now allowed to perform, through those old rules, this new dance was born. I learned when I very, very, very young. Since I was a kid, I liked to dressing up as a woman. Then actually I realized that a lot of dancers in Indonesia, they have kind of this talent. This means a lot actually that the male want to be a female dancer. The dance moves themselves are mostly traditional Indonesian styles. Didi takes time perfecting female movement, so his transitions can appear as authentic as possible. I think it takes about 20 years. Uh, the reaction of the audience, it depends on the performance. People sometimes bullying. Hey, the moon dancing as the moon is look like drag. Sometimes also, in the beginning, I feel hurt and then I feel so sad. I just ignore the criticism and I just go on and I develop and I prove to the society that I can do this kind of dance form the best. Today, Didik travels the world teaching people about this form of dance, preserving the culture and tradition for future generations. And in doing so, he is making a difference in erasing the stigmas the dance has faced. I wish that society more understand from where this traditional of cross-gender dance form came from and what the history and what the purpose of this performance. Then society more accepted.